Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. So there is a function u is sin inverse x plus y by root x plus root y. Let's take the sin inverse to the other side. So it will become sin u. So sin u equal to remaining x plus y divided by root x plus root y and we will take this as function f. This f is both sin u as well as this x plus y by root x plus root y. Let us rewrite the function f as f of x comma y because it is in terms of x and y. Then after this we have to check whether it is a homogeneous function or not. For that we have to replace x as tx y s t y. So numerator is t x plus t y divided by denominator root t x plus root t y. From the numerator we can take t common so we left with x plus y and from the denominator we can split into separate root. Root of t x is root t root x. Similarly root t y is root t root y and we can take root t common in the denominator so we have to write the numerator as it is and root t common in the denominator and the remaining term will be root x plus root y now this term is t power half and we have a power m by a power n equal to a power m minus n this is the indices rule so the numerator is t power 1 denominator is t power half and the remaining term is nothing but f of x comma y now applying this indices rule we have to subtract the powers so this will become t power 1 minus 1 by 2 then f of x comma y so totally f of t x comma t y we get t power half into f of x comma y from this it is clear that f is a homogeneous function of degree 1 by 2 so the value of the degree n is 1 by 2 now by Euler's theorem we can say x into dou f by dou x plus y into dou f by dou y equal to n f and in place of f we have to use sin u and in place of n we have to use 1 by 2 so this is going to become x into dou by dou x of sin u plus y into dou by dou y of sin u equal to 1 by 2 into sin u. Now derivative with respect to x we have to write x as it is sin u derivative is cos u then by chain rule u partially differentiated with respect to x will become dou u by dou x. In the same way y into cos u now partial derivative of u with respect to y is dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 2 sin u. Now throughout you can divide by cos u. So x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 2 sin u is there but we are dividing by cos u. So finally we get x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 2 tan u. So we got the first part of the proof. First part of the proof is x into dou u by dou x is y into dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 2 tan u. So which we got it here using the Euler's theorem. For proving the 
second part of the question we have to take the result of the first subdivision and do the partial derivative with respect to x let's name this as 1 now differentiating 1 partially with respect to x so the first part we have to use product rule x into derivative of the second part is dou square u by dou x square plus second part is written as it is and derivative of x is 1 plus y into derivative of dou u by dou y with respect to x is dou square u by dou x dou y plus dou u by dou y written as it is and derivative of y with respect to x partially is 0 because y is treated as a constant and on the other side it is nothing but half tan u derivative is secant square u and using chain rule the derivative of u with respect to x is dou u by dou x now let's rewrite the terms so x into dou square u by dou x square plus dou u by dou x plus y into dou square u by dou x dou y equal to 1 by 2 secant square u into dou u by dou x. Let's take this as a second expression. Now anyway, in the proof we need x square dou square u by dou x square. So let's take the second expression and we'll multiply with x. So we get x square into dou square u by dou x square plus x into dou u by dou x plus xy dou square u by dou x dou y and on the other side we have half secant square u dou u by dou x since we multiply with x let's put x here and let's name this as the third expression in the same way we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y so let's copy that expression here x into do u by do x plus y into do u by do y equal to half tan u so we are going to do the partial differentiation with respect to y so x into partial derivative with respect to y is dou square u by dou x sorry dou y dou x plus dou u by dou x second term is written as it is derivative of the x is 0 because we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x is constant then first term here as it is second term derivative is dou square u by dou y square plus second term written as it is and derivative of the first term is 1 because the derivative of y is 1 and on the other side it is half secant square u into using chain rule derivative of u with respect to y is dou u by dou y. Now anyway this expression we have to multiply with y. Already we have three expression and let's take this as four. Now this fourth expression I am multiplying into y. So totally first term is xy into dou square u by dou y dou x plus y square into dou square u by dou y square plus y into dou u by dou y and on the other side it is y by 2 secant square u into dou u by dou y let's take this as a fifth expression now we are going to add third and fifth expression so by adding 
returns what we are going to get is that is adding third expression and fifth expression so we have x square into dou square u by dou x square then we have two terms this is x y dou square u by dou y dou x but anyway here dou square u by dou x dou y and dou square u by dou y dou x both are same because it's a homogeneous function so this term when added with the expression 3 we have similar term so both are same so it is twice so we will write it as 2xy plus 2xy into dou square u by dou x dou y and third term we have y square into dou square u by dou y square apart from this we have two more term y dou u by dou x here and in the third expression x dou u by dou x but x do u by do x plus y do u by do x is nothing but it is the result of the first expression whose answer is half tan u. So directly let's replace it as plus half tan u. And on the other side we can take secant square u by 2 common then we left with one term is nothing but this x into dou u by dou x then another term is y into dou u by dou u once again that is nothing but half tan u which we used it here so half tan u after that we have to carry this half tan u to the other side so we have written the first three term as it is and on the other side it is secant square u by 4 into tan u minus half tan u then let's take LCM LCM is going to be 4 so this is secant square u tan u minus 2 tan u so we can take tan u common so in the numerator we have tan u denominator we have 4 and the remaining term is secant square u minus 2 let's change everything in terms of sine and cos so this is sine u by 4 cos u and this one is 1 by cos square u minus 2 and we have to take LCM so sin u by 4 cos u LCM is cos square u so here it is 1 minus 2 cos square u and separate bracket so totally in the numerator we have sin u then we have a basic trigonometric formula that is cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 but here we have opposite so this will become minus cos 2a so 2u this is in terms of u whole divided by 4 cos cube u so totally we have minus sin u cos 2u whole divided by 4 cos cube u which is nothing but the other side of the question so we have to prove x square dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy dou square u by dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u by dou y square equal to minus sin u cos 2u by 4 cos cube u so we got minus sin u into cos 2u by 4 cos cube u and on the other side we have the required expression x square into dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy into dou square u by dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u by dou y square. So we got the second part of the proof.